Alright guys, it's Coin Super Mario 7 here, and as promised, I'm going to teach you how to build the eco-friendly power generator for BuildCraft. And as you can see, I've got, got all the stuff in here, I don't need the sickle anymore. Just doing that to clear some grass. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take three down, take a little shape like that, place a pneumatic tube right here, Deployer right here and a filter right here. I want the filter facing. I get my screwdriver out. Filter needs facing. That way. We need. No. That way. And we're going to need to put a. bucket in there, I'm gonna need a water bucket, and I'm gonna need several empty buckets. So filters just gonna take water buckets out. I'm also gonna need to place down some water right here and here. Make an infinite pool. And I'm gonna put some buckets in our deployer here. Because if you remember, the deployer works by sucking in the bucket and the filter will take the bucket out and feed it into our next component. So now, here's, here's it's kind of customizable right here. You can put as many water mills as you really want to. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you have enough pneumatic tubing and water mills. And you could add on this thing forever and you just get more power. All right, so now what we're gonna want to do is place our filter here. We need our retriever here, not there, Mac 2, and you gotta turn the filter the right way. But of course I didn't get any, I got a battery box, and you normally you took this up to solar panels, but I'm not, I don't feel like getting solar panels right now, so I'll just put my battery box here. Turn it up with a few batteries, and I'll be good to do because this is just a demonstration. So it doesn't really matter that we're not actually getting any power from this thing. So I should gotta go like that. Am I, am I able to do that? No, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go like that. Did that work? Obviously not. Alright, so I'm gonna hook up this box right here. I know how to do it. There we are, that should work. Alright, yep, see, now we're getting power. And we want the retriever to take out empty buckets. So, what it's gonna do is the filter is going to take out full buckets of water, then put them in the water mill. And then, once the buckets are empty, the retriever is gonna take them out and put them in and put the buckets into the deployer which is going to fill them up and it's going to repeat and stuff over and over again now we're going to need some some place for all of our energy to go didn't mean to do that alrighty so I'm just going to Go like that. I don't need that there. Get our bat box out. Hold on, guys. Alrighty, so we're just gonna get our bat box and try to face them downward like that, so the hole is going down. Then just shift click to place that like that. And I know I haven't had the power to this thing yet. I'm gonna get that running once I get all this done. And then I mean, you can't. You can't. Sorry, guys. What? Alright, so you can have, I guess you can have as many as these as one you want. I'm not exactly 100% sure on that. Then I'm just going to place my electrical engines like so. Well, you know what? Actually, no. I'm going to place them like so. That way I can wire them up later. 
and then we're going to get our wooden conductive whoa wooden conductive pipes ah, keep pressing control instead of shift then we're going to get our gold conductive pipes and we'll hook these up once we're done with everything else alrighty so now all we have to do here is dig that out, that out, and that out. Place a. Let's see where is it? Oh, I already had it on my hotbar. Put the timer down. Not there. Timer down there. Of course, it's facing the way. And then we're just gonna wire up our machines and I have my volume down so you guys will be able to hear it but once these things start running they are they are really loud so keep that in mind and it should start yeah it's oh duh wonder why I wasn't pulling that bucket out I forgot to hook this up you guys are probably yelling at me for that but anyway so now every time it ticks it should pull all these, these empty buckets out yeah see so there come all the empty buckets. I'm not sure why this one isn't coming out, but oh well. Huh. And there may just be so many other empty buckets that this one just uh, this is like the least priority. I don't know, but it's it's working. And if we look at our bat box, see it's rapidly filling up with power. And these things, I forgot to turn them as well. So I need a wrench. that wrench this wrench and I'm just going to turn them all towards their thing and I'm also going to need some red um, wiring I uh, can't talk so just like that all right just finishing wiring this up then I'm going to place my lever down like so and now they will all start running now if you don't use high voltage cable or not high voltage um this glass fiber cable then they, it won't get all the way to these things because um you lose all the power by that time so you need glass fiber cables so you want to power more than one that's why I only had three running before on my one that I showed you guys in the last video I did because I had gold cables and it, the power was not reaching past three so I didn't have more than three so now let's just just to prove to you guys that this thing is working let's get something that requires a lot of power no I don't want it there about there yeah that works And, yep, see, it's just running, it's red right now, but it should go all the way up to blue, because, yeah, see, there we go, blue is the most efficient it can be, because we're getting a steady stream of power from all of our electrical engines, and that power should never run out, because our bat box is steadily filling up, oh, wait, no, it's actually dropping right now, but if I, if I really wanted to, I could add more things. Like, see, this thing is running out of buckets. That's mostly why. So you gotta keep an eye on that, because there's no there's no buckets for it to fill up. So normally I look at this and make sure that there's always at least like three buckets in there. See now, now it, there's getting a lot more. So we should start to see more power go into here. I mean, not immediately because it's gotta take a time to fill up. And all those things are working. I really wanted to add more, so that will work even better. And of course, I didn't have a place for this thing to go to, so all this stuff is going to just go on the ground. Let's do that real quick, and then I have to end the episode really fast. You know what? I'll just end it now because it doesn't really matter. It's been Corn Sent minus seven, and this is the eco-friendly system. And have a great day.